everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and the shoulders are out again today. <laughs> I'm drinking a 100% non-alcoholic beverage. Friday when I'm filming this and I'm super duper excited because I've just got this in the mail. MUA or Makeup Academy has brought out a glow collection and as soon as I saw this online I almost died like it was so beautiful. You guys know I love the glow so I got a little a little bit excited. And also what made me excited was MUA is a very affordable brand and it's UK based. They're pretty much one of the first brands that I ever started dabbling in with makeup because you could buy things from them for like a pound I'm pretty sure. They were a really inexpensive brand and they still are which is great. Personally I don't really see a lot about them online but this launched and I saw this advertised and I was like I need in my life. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Yeah. That song's forever gonna be a reference for me throughout my whole entire life, isn't it? But what's cool is they've actually used an influencer as like a face of this launch, which I'm super excited about. No tea, no shade to the influencer, but I wish they'd used a UK based influencer. But the face of this campaign is Danny De Fritas. Uh, I probably said that wrong <laughs> and I'm sorry I don't want to offend but he's from Mexico and I see him all the time on Instagram like he's always having like facials and stuff for <laughs> Instagram videos and he does like makeup and things but yeah maybe I should just like stop talking and just open this box alright let's open this baby up Ooh. that wasn't very satisfying come on I am so offended. There's no ASMR video for you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have a few things in here. So we have a glow shimmer spray, which uh, I'm hoping this is gonna spray a little bit sheer because we all know I'm pale. Could you could you not see? Is, is that offensive? I, I don't know anymore. We have a bronzer, which has like different segments in it. So I was kind of intrigued. Maybe this would be good for different skin tones. I don't know. Then we have this little thing, which it has a glow light luster liquid highlight which the bottle of this is gorgeous and the color looks amazing. It's like got a frosted glass. This feels so much more expensive than I believe it was. This is in the shade Wonder. They had three shades of this. They have a lip gloss, which this looks gorgeous. Like the component of this looks so much more expensive than what it was. I believe this was like three to four pounds. The component of this almost looks like Dominique Cosmetics, which I've actually just ordered one of their lip glosses, but it's got the same like styling on the component. It looks really, really luxe. This is in the shade Honeyed and then I couldn't not get these. Like this is such like a throwback to my 90s childhood. This roll-on shimmer. Like what? Does anybody else remember the roll-on like glitter and roll-on gloss and everything like that they used to get in the 90s? I feel like companies would just like just put it in a roll-on and they'll love it. And we did. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two shades of the roll-on shimmer. I've got desert shimmer and then I got a pop of blue which is tropical azure uh, Azure? Mm, I don't know. I'm hoping to like throw this like all over the lid and use this maybe as an inner corner highlight I don't know. We're gonna be trying all this today. We're gonna see what it goes on like the quality I'm just gonna say right now MUA have like popped off with this collection This is so much better quality in the components that they use in obviously I don't know formula wise But for the price point these feel more expensive than what they were So yeah without further ado, let's zoom you guys in and get our glow on. Is that too cheesy? Probably. Okay All right, I'm gonna have to put a hairband on again because otherwise Ugh. my hair gonna get a ball in my grill and I do not want that right now <sighs> I forgot to damn my sponge be right back all right finally we have some organization around here maybe I should stop drinking this and my brain would be in check <laughs> So I've already just thrown on some normal primer, but I want to use this as like a highlighty base. This is the Luster Lights Liquid Highlight in Wonder. Look how pretty this packaging is. It was originally £5, now it's £3.75. It says superior liquid highlight drops containing high concentrates of pearl. The luxurious and buildable formulation glides on for an ultimate glow. Ooh, it feels thick in the bottle. Comes with a little dropper. So I'm just going to drop this over my face and we are going to glow. Okay, we're going to glow. It is quite thick in consistency. Is it gonna be too dark for me? Let's just see. Okay, kind of has a, ooh, smells a little bit like soap. <laughs> it has a slight oily texture to it, but nothing crazy. I'm hoping it's going to dry down though. You're probably thinking, what are you doing putting this all over your face? But I really want it to be, you know, reflective of what this launch is, which is glow. So, um, I'm glowing. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like a little bit on the darker side but we're gonna be covering my face with foundation so it's fine definitely got a pretty sheen to it though but it is a little bit glittery not crazy glittery but you can see like a little bit when you come right up close to my face it's a little bit 
tacky so I'm gonna leave this just for like a second and then I'm gonna put my foundation on top and we'll see if the glow kind of like shines through so I've just done my face I've done my foundation my concealer and I did put powder on so I've like baked my under eyes and stuff you can't really see the glow from underneath anymore <laughs> yes there is like a subtle sheen coming through through my foundation maybe if you were using like a sheerer foundation it would come through all right so let's try this bronzer situation so this is what the inside looks like as you can see it's got like a lot of different tones you've got warm cool kind of neutral tones in here I'm just gonna kind of concentrate on this side of the wheel and leave the darker ones and see if we can make this work I'm just gonna kind of flick my brush across it. It is quite a big pan so I feel like you know I can avoid those colors. There's like no kick up in the pan at all. So let's see what this blends like over powdered skin. Ooh, that is pretty. It's not too crazy pigmented so I can make it as sheer or as dark as I want. I'm gonna be tanning after this video and I cannot wait. <laughs> so pale right now. This blended out so easy. Obviously this is quite orange toned on my skin. In the pan, this side doesn't really look that orange. I think it's looking more orange on camera to be honest. It's not patchy at all though and it's blending out really nicely. I actually quite like this. This is a decent bronzer, especially an affordable one. And as you can see, I kind of like pounce my bronzer on because it really makes it like even. Like look how effortless that was. Look how blended it is though. I really like the tone of it as well. Mm. Always nice having another affordable bronzer that I can use. I went in very heavy with this under eye highlight today. I need to cool it down a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a little bit of this bronzer like across my nose. I'm just gonna use like the lightest part of it. Let's give that like sun-kissed look across the face too. What I'm actually gonna do, because I wanna use the bright color of the Roll-On Shimmer later, I'm actually gonna use this as like a base for my eyes. So I'm just gonna shove a few of these tones throughout the crease and then we're gonna have a nice base for the bright color. So I'm gonna go in with the paler shade on a fluffy brush and let's just build this up in the crease a little. Yeah, this is a super, super blendable product. Then I'm gonna go in with the third darkest one here. Build it up a little. I'm gonna take the deepest, warmest tone in here, right in the crease. Blend it out super easily. Like this would be quite a good thing to take with you. If you're traveling and you need like everyday shades and you need a bronzer, this would be pretty good. Blend it out really nicely on my eyes. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye real quick. Okay guys, so I've done both my eyes. I really like this bronzer. It's a matte bronzer. There's no shimmer in it. And it was super easy to blend on the eyes and on the face. So I actually really recommend this one. And I think this was four pounds. Yeah, it was four pounds, but now it's three pounds. And it's in the shade Golden Dunes, which is quite a cute name. Now I'm gonna try try this bright blue. So excited for this. I'm hoping I'm just gonna be able to glide it over my lid. Let's try and swatch it first. Okay, so you gotta give it a little bit of a roll, so I'm glad I tried it out first of all in my hand. But look at the color. Yes. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this out. Let's swatch the bronze one too. This one looks gorgeous. So let's have a quick look. Oh, oh my god. That is beautiful. One thing I will say is, whoa, okay. <laughs> A lot of dustiness is on there and a lot of product comes out with the roll on. And I want to put a tacky base on in that case. Just going to add a little bit more concealer. Oh no. <laughs> Why must I have hooded lids? Damn it. I'll sort that out in a second. Hold please. No, in my head I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to cut my crease and look where we ended. <laughs> my concealer is like a little bit tacky. So let's try this rollable on. I'm just going to go on in and just roll it on my eyelid, I guess. <laughs> Okay, wow. That color is very pretty. It's got like a gold reflect to it. I like it. Okay, a little bit hard to control. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I wonder if you'd be like able to take this out or something. I have a problem where it's gonna stuck. <laughs> Whoa, so I like the concept of this, but it's hard to actually get it consistent. I feel like sometimes I'm getting a lot of products, sometimes I'm getting none. So kind of hard to work with. I love that color. Okay, I do have a little bit of fallout on my face. I'm gonna just try going in with a little brush. Sharpen up the lines a little. So the good thing is, is the pigment isn't fluffing off as I'm going in with my brush. I am able to kind of like move it and manipulate it just a little bit. Damn, that color is intense and it is gorgeous. Kind of want to put the gold in the center. Is that wrong? I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna do exactly the same and I'm just going to just, oh yes. I'm gonna kind of do like a little spotlight on my lid here. Uh, what? This is gorgeous. 
Oh my gosh. I friggin love these. I know that it's basically a pigment in this like shimmer roll ball thing, but I am feeling the fantasy. Okay, I love this. It's bringing me back to my childhood and it feels shimmery and it feels bold and it feels colorful. <laughs> I feel like I've done like an Egyptian kind of look right now. I am here for it. Now I do have the tiniest little fallout right back here with the blue shade. I haven't got any with the golden, so I'm just gonna see if I can sweep it away with my powder brush. Pray for me. Pretty much buffed away, which is great. Although I have already powdered my under eye, so bear that in mind. It's not that they're crumbly because they almost have like an oily consistency to them, but it's just because of the rollerball clumps up in areas. Sheen on these is literally insane. I feel like the colors are so nice. I think there was one other color, which was like a pinky color. And these are three pounds, now two pound 25. I'm gonna go to my other eye of camera, put on some lashes, brows and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I finished off the eye makeup. I just put a little bit of the bronzer underneath my eyes, put on some lashes, did my brows. But yeah, let's finish this face off. Maybe I'll just try adding this spray. So this is the Glow Shimmer Spray in Glow Up. I think there was only one shade of this, but it's one of those ones where like you shake it up and it like swirls with the shimmer. These are so beautiful. I really like the Iconic London one. We'll see if this one works, I'm hoping. It's not gonna jack me up and it's not going to do me dirty and leave me with little shimmer specks all over my face. But we shall see. This one is five pounds. Oh, if you don't like coconut, girl, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> it smells very coconutty. I'm just gonna try spraying it on my arm, first of all. Let's give it a little bit of a prime. Hello. Yo. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh my gosh, this smells so good. The mister on this is so fine. Oh. <gasps> Yes, MUA. I got a little bit too excited then, but oh, you guys, I think the general public has spoken enough to change people's sprays. This is so good, it's so fine. On my arm, it is more of a sparkle than a shimmer. You know what, let's just, let's just spray it on my face and let's decide if we like it. <laughs> Even though it's a fine mister, it's kind of like aggressively fine. You know when the rain is doing that really annoying rain that doesn't look like rain, but then you get absolutely drenched? <laughs> that is pretty much what this is. Oh, I managed to get it all over my body actually. I did not think it went everywhere, but it did. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is like pure sparkle pigment. I am kind of dreading looking at my face right now. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm very sparkly. It's very fine glitter, but it's definitely glitter, all right. If you have a darker skin tone, this will probably look really nice on you, but it does just look like I put glitter all over my face. Can you guys see? I am just like very sparkly. Hang on, let me try putting a light on to see if you can see. Does that help with the sparkle? You can maybe kind of see it now. You could just try putting it by here. Oh, there we go. There you can see the sparkle. Yeah, I have gold glitter all over my face. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and uh, powder. I hear a little, it's all in my brows, it's all in everything. I feel like it's more of a body thing, which I do know have it all over me. <laughs> and that wasn't intentional. I wanted to try that at the end all of my body, but it's just there. Really, the spray just kind of goes everywhere. And now I am very, very sparkly. On my straps by here, they are also a trench. Uh, yeah, so that's great. Just what I wanted. I did actually have a lipstick with this collection, but it was like a bright orangey red. And to be honest, I don't really wear that many colors like that. So I just picked up the gloss. These are originally four pounds, and now they're on sale for three pounds. Supposed to be a high shine lip gloss. What I am gonna do is I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. So I'm just gonna use a NYX lip liner pencil in the Shade Los Angeles. Probably a little bit cool tone for this, but it's fine. Now let's go in with this gloss. I'm very picky with glosses, so I hope this one is good. Oh, it's very, very minty. Mm, smells good. It is a very small doe foot and not a lot of product seems to be coming off on it, but let's just put it on my lips. Oh, it's a lot thicker than what I thought it was gonna be. That mint is very apparent. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I just freshly brush my teeth. It's not very pigmented. It's just purely kind of like a shimmery gloss. Maybe I should have like put a lipstick on underneath it. It almost has like a tingly feeling with the mint. It's not supposed to be like a plumping lip gloss though, but it kind of feels like one. It makes me feel minty fruit. It is quite intense. I do have kind of like a cooling sensation on my lips. So if you don't like that kind of thing and you have sensitive lips, then maybe this won't be the best for you because it's still going. Like I still have that minty feeling. 
on my mouth. It feels very nice and moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky. It's really nice texture wise. One thing I cannot stand is a sticky gloss, okay? It's like the worst thing to me. I have built it up quite a bit and it's not doing that whole stringy thing. I thought it had like a subtle shimmer to it, but when it's on the lips, it doesn't really give off a shimmer at all. For the price of the gloss, I would definitely recommend it. It's literally three pound at the moment. But with that said, that is pretty much everything. Let's zoom you guys out and discuss my final thoughts. Well, I'm actually loving this look right now. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this collection. As I said, MUA is a very affordable brand and for the packaging on some of these things, it is such a good price for the quality you're getting in the packaging for one. The products are actually really good as well. I think my favorite things out of the collection have to be these three. The lip gloss for one, I just really love the shine. They did have two other shades of this, but personally, I went for the like the nudie, bronzy kind of color. It just makes your lips look juicy, you know? I really love these rollable pigments. I'm reading it now and it actually says face and body pigments. In the campaign photos they used it on their eyes and everything so I guess you can use these pretty much like everywhere. But the colour is so vibrant and obviously this has been on my face for a little while now and it's still bright and bold and I really love it. There was a little issue with fallout but that can be easily remedied by using a little bit of baking so having like a blanket underneath your eyes for it to fall on so you can dust it away or just doing your eyes before your foundation so you can then just wipe away the excess. Really high shine, really pigmented. I really love the look that I created with just these two roll on shimmer ball things. <laughs> Live in my 90s fantasy and I love it. I also really enjoyed this bronzer. It's super duper blendable. I'm probably going to use this a lot. There was like zero kickback. Even with the little fluffy brush there wasn't any kicker and it's not overly pigmented. On my forehead it just looks so blended. I really like this. This is one of my favorites. I feel like I need to give the liquid illuminator drops a little bit of a better chance when I'm a bit tan. I'm going to be trying this out with a little bit of a darker complexion because unfortunately they're just not light enough for me. And I believe this was the lightest shade. Apart from that, I quite like the texture of them. Like they felt a little bit oily and slick in the beginning, but it dried down and I just love the packaging of this. And then finally this spray. I love the mister. I love the spray on it, but it is just pure glitter. If this was a little bit finer of a shimmer in here then it would be better. It has pretty much set down. It is coming off like a little bit but pretty much it's kind of stuck down which is pretty cool. It would be better for darker skin tones and also I feel like for like a festival or something you can really densely spray this on and you would have like magical golden shimmer all over you and it'll look amazing. But for the kind of glow that I like I prefer to be sheeny. Good for the price, five pounds, you get a lot in here. But anyway that is it for the products from this glow collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it a little bit informative and if you are curious about this collection I hope I showed you what these products can do and what they look like. Overall anyway another affordable brand is doing well so with that said guys I'm gonna love you and leave you don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the red button down below and hit the bell next to it to get notified of my uploads if you're excited for summer and you're ready to get your glow on then leave a thumbs up on the video cuz me too girl me too all right then I'm gonna go I hope to see you on the next one till then bye guys And also what made me excited is, yeah, uh, I love highlight, I love blood, bloody sheen, bloody, I like bloody sheen, I love bloody sheen, I sound like I'm going Scottish, oh my god. <laughs>